This was the fastest moving object ever detected in our solar system. Okay, so we know where 3i Atlas is right now, and we have a pretty good idea of what it's doing. So while we wait for it to reappear on the other side, that gives us an opportunity to investigate how it got here in the first place. And this is a deeply fascinating story. We have been tracking 3i Atlas since July 2025. It was officially spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, which is actually a bunch of telescopes all around the world in places like Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. What they do is stare at the night sky and look for moving objects. And that is what they saw on the night of July 1st, just another moving object. So they classify it as a new asteroid, and they're ready to move on. But then they notice something weird about this one. It's moving too fast. Everything in space is constantly in motion, and every object in the solar system rotates around the sun because we are all trapped by its force of gravity. The fact that we are moving is what keeps us from falling into the well of gravity, and the closer you get to the sun, the faster you have to move in order to stay afloat. But if you start to move fast enough, then you actually start to rise up out of the well. And if you reach a certain velocity, then you break free completely of the sun's gravity and you can fly out into interstellar space. You enter the void of nothingness that exists between stars. And when astronomers clocked the velocity of this new asteroid, they were shocked. This was the fastest moving object ever detected in our solar system. Let's establish some scale here. The planet Earth orbits the sun at a speed of 30 kilometers per second. That's us, we're moving pretty fast and we're pretty close to the sun, but there are planets that are a lot closer. Here is Mercury, 0.4 astronomical units from the surface of the sun. It gets cooked, and to avoid falling into the gravity well, Mercury has to orbit at a velocity of around 48 kilometers per second. The new object discovered by Atlas was moving at 58 kilometers per second, and at the time, it was still way out there, just inside the orbit of Jupiter. That's about four and a half AU away from the sun. And at that speed, it was clear that this object was going to blow straight past the sun and just keep on going. We call this a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning that this thing had come from the void, from interstellar space, and that's where it was going to return after completing its grand tour of our solar system. 